So this is a pocket sax from um, Kirstein of Germany and uh, let me tell you what I know about it. <laughs> Okay, first a caveat. Um, I'm not used to um, reed instruments at all. Um, I can play bad guitar, bad keyboard. I rely on the computer for everything. But um, I was given one of these for my birthday a couple of weeks ago. And really nice. And then I found... Um, I got some Amazon gift vouchers from my dad and Debbie um, that I'd just put on the side and forgotten about. And then when I rediscovered them a couple of days ago, I thought, oh yeah. And I knew exactly what I wanted, which was one of these things. Um, now, the big caveat is that, you know, I basically got two weeks experience with the clarinet and um, the pocket sax arrived yesterday but I've been able to get the sound out of it and hopefully and I, and I really like it I got it like this from Amazon Italy and uh, it was actually cheaper from Amazon Italy than it is direct from Kirstein I believe it's their shop on Amazon Italy but I don't know your mileage might vary Anyway, this is what arrived, and what you get, body, mouthpiece and bits, uh, a couple of reeds, a brush, and some cork grease. Now, before anything else, I strongly, strongly recommend popping a reed into some water for five minutes or so. Um, there are plenty of videos on reed care by professional clarinetists. I'm not one of those, so, you know, but this is how I got a sound out of the thing. Um, yeah, so the mouthpiece is a standard-sized clarinet mouthpiece. Um, like a ligature and a cap and what you do is what I prepared earlier just dry that off a second um, moisten this with your tongue right up there so you can just see the faintest line of black around the top, pop on the ligature that way up, um, yeah like that, and get it nicely lined up so it's all nice and square. Um, something that might just be one of my little hacks, but I've watched a lot of videos in the past couple of weeks about clarinets and things. Um, for the, the reeds, if you, you've got to check out whether there's any kind of obvious imperfections or whatever. And what I've been doing is just taking it, a little pen knife with a flat, flat edge and just giving it a very gentle scrape so like virtually nothing's coming off but any loose kind of fibres there's one any loose kind of fibres that, that are in the way um, you, want, you do want to be sure that the flat side flat thick side sits very very flat against the mouthpiece down there so the curves on top flat against the mouthpiece down there and well just well I don't know I'll call it a millimeters um, thumbnail over the top tighten that up actually I should have attached this to the body first but there you go 
Um, next, very important, when fresh out of the box, tighten so it's just finger tight. Don't over tighten, otherwise you'll just strip the threads. Um, the very good, good thinking, they provide some cork grease, which is just like Vaseline or, or whatever. Any old fat will do as far as I know. And you put rub it around the cork. The body, uh, this is rather nice as well. It's um, made from pear wood, cylindrical bore. I don't know if you can't really see that. Um, the, it's quite hefty, quite chunky thing. Very nice, very nice wood. Lovely pear wood. Um, attach the mouthpiece. I should have done this before putting the reed on really. Um, attach that and you want the reed at the bottom. And oh, what you also get in here is some very minimal instructions. Um, in the instructions it says you shouldn't touch the... this goes in your mouth that, that way up uh, hang on, where are we? That way up, so the reeds at the bottom. And it says you shouldn't be touching the body, the plastic, with with your teeth. But the clarinet, clarinet people say you do. And I've actually I bought some pads, very cheap. I don't know, a fiver for thirty or something ridiculous, because um, I found it a bit uncomfortable just putting my teeth straight against the hard plastic and read underneath again with your tongue have a look on the clarinet instructions uh you want your bottom lip just gently curled around your teeth so it's rest so the reed's resting on your bottom teeth somewhere around there on on your lip on your teeth it's uh, you've got your lip stretched that goes on top of that and your teeth on there and the fingering is um, the same as soprano, yeah, soprano block flute, soprano recorder, Da -da. except you only get that much really, in effect you only get, this is the full range of the soprano recorder, but on this instrument you only get that as far as I can in comparison uh, similar kind of size what's quite sweet is the about this is that if you like go for a note on this um, fingers fingers this is at least an octave below I think that was an octave. Um, and yeah, I'd recommend looking at the clarinet videos, beginning clarinet videos to get further. So my motivation for getting this um, was with this, I found that like the, the fingering, yeah, the fingering is well complicated. It's absolutely insane. If you go from, say, to, hang on, where are we? You get the idea. So it's like, there's a register key there at the back that flips it up, which is the same as um, like on a recorder. Going up, except on the recorder it goes up an octave, on the clarinet it goes up a twelfth, because it's a cylindrically bored um, reed instrument, so it acts like a closed pipe. So you get the... Um, Whereas on something like that, or something with a conical bore, 
uh, you overblow, you get the octave. Uh, but the parallel cylindrical bore, um, you overblow or press the register key. You actually it goes up a twelfth, which is a bit, which is the third harmonic. Which is a bit weird, but there you go. It means that like the fingering on the clarinet, the fingering from from on the recorder. If you do that, where are we? There, and then go. It's the same fingering for the octave on the clarinet. Completely different fingering. Um, but rather than calling this a pocket sax, I think I'd call it a, kind of a chalamo, which was a predecessor to the clarinet, except the chalamo actually did have a couple of keys. Kind of me late medieval time, um, when you had pretty much all around Europe uh, variations on this. The word chalamo, uh, which is also the name of that register, those low notes on the clarinet, um, the same root meaning little pipe, or little, little reed or pipe, uh, is also the same root for shawm, which is, a, I believe, their double reed instrument that you still get now, but a traditional instrument, and a caramel. No idea why caramel should have the same root as Shalomo, but there you go. Um, so anyway, why this appealed to me was on the clarinet, fingering, no big deal, relatively speaking. You know, it's going to take me a bloody long time to remember this. But look, it's great, absolutely insane. Um, but I, it's just fingering and I, remember it remember. I'm relatively dexterous sinistrous um, so the fingering is, is not significant to me at all there as something I need to practice too much but the mouthpiece the embouchure your mouth set up that is really a problem and I thought this was a good idea because it has got the clarinet mouthpiece uh, but it's also noticeable, if I get a note on this, how easy it is just by changing the mouth a tiny bit. It's really sensitive to small changes in the mouth. Hang on. I don't know, just about, a, there's almost a tone there of difference just on the, the mouthing of it. And so it's sensitive to it. So I'm hope, like using this as a practice instrument for the clarinet. And also it fits in the little bag quite nicely. Me shoulder bag. When I take the dog out for a walk. And I can annoy the sheep. Okay, a bit piece, piecemeal. Um, I did make notes, but I... Yeah. Things I should remember. Um, oh, what I. It's amazing how much spit builds up just from this. Um, so, probably have to clean it quite often. Um, a lot of the reviews for these things were. Well, it was mixed. And a lot of the negative ones, I think, are just down to. If you've never tried a, one of these read things before, then it's impossible. If, I, if I'd have gone to this first, then I'd have said it's, it's just a non-starter. But I, I was given a clarinet, so knowing that the clarinet does work, I was able to sort of like force myself to get to the point where I could get a note out of it. Uh, whereas with this, I can only get the note out of it because I've already sort of like figured a bit of it out on the clarinet. Um, but I'm talking like two weeks on the clarinet, one day on this. So, you know, it's not a biggie. Scale on it. Yeah. You, I, I'm sure a professional clarinet player could get an altissimo on that, get the really high notes. Get. Just no way for me. That modicum related, God knows. Anyway.
Crossway Pier Tune.